up guys, going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rye Beats. How's everybody doing? Uh, today is not your typical um, video or vlog from this channel. It's something a little different. It's gonna be like a tech, techie video, whatever you wanna call it. But I am very excited. I wanted to <laughs> actually, I actually wanted to open this on, on the camera, but I got way too excited. So I did crack it open. I wanted to show you guys my new setup as far as the vlogging setup as far as the camera setup, and I'll tell you the reason why. Okay, let's get to it. Still in the plastic bag. This is gonna be the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I think this just came out, um, I think about a week ago, I would say. Yeah, about a week ago. So excited. All right, let's just take that plastic off. A little backstory, um, my very first time that I wanted to start doing YouTube and videos and uploads whatever it is I wanted to do it with a GoPro I actually bought a GoPro Hero 3 black plus black oh Hero 3 plus black that's how it is and um, I just I started making videos but what I found out that there was a couple of things that irritate me and, and I didn't like was one was the um, the audio um, it did not have a front-facing audio or front-facing microphone, so I had to attach an external microphone, uh, which at that time wasn't that wasn't that great. And the other thing was the the menu. It wasn't to me. It wasn't user-friendly. And then I think um, within like a month after, um, it just kept turning off and on. So I just whatever. I, I don't even know where it is right now. It's probably in the studio somewhere, but now I started just using regular cameras like this one. All right, guys, so let's look at this GoPro real quick, and I'll tell you more of the backstory. So on the side here, it tells you what you get. You get the actual camera, uh, battery, uh, one of those mounting bracket things, the uh, the screw, a charger or a cable port, um, and it looks like a mounting bracket, but. I can't remember, I think even the other ones you get at least two, right? I don't know if they changed that. Okay, so list of some, some of the features here. It's a 12 megapixel camera. Uh, it does record on 4K at 60 uh, frames per second, or yeah, per second, or at 1080p at 240. Uh, eight times the slow-mo, hyper smooth 2.0. If you guys had the uh, um, GoPro, was it the 7, the one, the previous one? That, that's when they introduced the, the Hyper Smooth. Uh, has time warp, uh, oh, has live streaming. Interesting. Live burst like the, um, the iPhone. Uh, Super Photo, Raw. Um, it has these new legs, or they call them fingers. Uh, it's voice activated. Touch screen, and it can go, it's water resistant or waterproof. Uh, up to 30, 33 feet and it's GPS enabled. Okay, well, let's get let's get to it. Let's open it. Uh, I think you open it from the bottom, right? Yep. See that little blue tab? Come out of it. Boom. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's put that aside. So there it is right there. Um, so when you get the GoPro, it's on this mount. Just pop this up. Squeeze the little mounting bracket and it just comes out. Uh, a lot of people save this base thing because they like to do DIY stuff. So uh, this is really handy, especially if you want to use it as like a like a tabletop mount. It has a nice flat base to it. So I suggest you just keep it. GoPro Plus. Make sure you guys get a GoPro Plus. It's very, very useful and handy. Got some instructions here and some stickers. Some booklet. All right, it says download the GoPro app, which I already did. All right, let's see what we get. So like it says, we get the charging cable or connector. One, one of these mounting things, which I don't really use, so I'm not really too worried about that. Actually, this is actually the, um, the not the flat one, but it has a little bend to it. And their battery. I heard that the battery is a little different than the previous one. Cause it has this blue thing i don't really know as far as i know it's still 12 20 milliamps but whatever who cares right okay so this is the gopro itself as you can see there's a front facing microphone 
right here I think there's one underneath yeah there's one underneath here and I think there's one more somewhere I don't know where the the previous which is the seven uh, this lens was interchangeable you can take it off and um, get a new one and put it back on as you guys know GoPros um, are uh, known for their rugged and people use it when they do like action or whatever it is and this thing break so I don't know why they um, they changed it or to be fixed okay, I heard somewhere there's a, it's a much thicker glass and um, yeah I don't really know um, it looks like I should put in the SD card in first oh yeah and also um, I got a new SD card for it Install GoPro app on your phone and finish setup. Leave your camera on and follow the app instructions. All right, guys, um, that took a while. I had to update the firmware, which is pretty good because um, now the menus kind of changed a little bit. And um, before you update, make sure you charge your battery. My battery was like at 17%. Uh, I had to charge it to at least 20% for it to start uploading the new. Um, and your firmware into the camera itself so right now it's just it's just plugged in charging i gotta get new batteries uh different batteries or extra batteries actually the really what i'm interested in this one is the time warp the uh there has this um what do you call this this is called the the, the hyper smooth boost what it does it's uh, supposed to eliminate all the shakiness so let's let's see so right now it's recording. So right now I'm on the um, the GoPro, testing out the uh, the onboard audio microphone. What do you guys think? Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it sounds good. This is the arms arms length, right? So I know that I'm staring at the camera. I know I'm in shot. I'm I know I'm in the frame. I know they have a setting for the super view. The super view is kind of weird because it gives you that that fish eye um, look. I don't really want that but the white one looks great so I know I'm in the shot just staring at this thing I know I'm in the shot I know they're supposed to come out with a mount or like a attachment it's called the media mount it comes with a shotgun mic which I'm probably gonna get and also you can get one with a flip up screen I don't really think I need a flip up screen but I really want to get that mic all right so let me tell you the main reason why I got this GoPro it was actually to eliminate carrying this big camera here um, this is actually my last lens uh spare lens that i have the the sony is great i love the sony but the lens on this is very very um sensitive i guess i have to be very careful how i put this thing down because if i knock this lens it will break or it'll go off track it'll it, it's just very 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 sensitive so this is actually my last lens that i have and hence the reason why I got the GoPro. Now, the other reason why I got the GoPro is that it's very small. Okay, and I just want to put it in my bag. I don't have to worry about the lens. I don't have to worry worry about everything else. And and that's that's the main reason why is that I want it to be rugged. I don't have to worry about um, the lens on this camera. I don't have to worry about um, um, if it's gonna fit in my bag where I'm putting it down or whatever it is. This one is really small and tiny. I can just put it in a small bag and it's ready to go. The only thing I do now is buy more batteries to it. The only thing that I'm worried about this is the batteries is only 1220 milliamps. And I think um, I'm definitely, well, I'm gonna need at least two extra batteries just in case. And the other thing is this lens. Um, I guess, like I said, um, well, like I said, GoPros are made um, to stand out as far as being the rugged and action camera and all that stuff so without the replacement lens I'm not sure how it's gonna work but I did get this GoPro Plus which I highly recommend because look look down here damage no questions asked they'll get you a new one so I think that's a plus um, I think it's only like 50 bucks a year or something like that which is totally worth it in my opinion Especially if you're gonna be using it out and about, using it as a vlog camera and all this other stuff that you're gonna be using it for, it's a great deal. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube explaining the um, what the new features are and what's so great about this camera and so on and so on. You guys can definitely look that up. I think it's definitely worth the money, and uh, especially when you're out and about as a vlogger or just making videos, it's a great arsenal to have in your pocket. 
Well, anyways, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Hope you guys are excited as I am. Hopefully the video is much clearer and sharper and crisper, whatever. So anyways, that's it guys. Peace.